overview phase of all this. And um, so I'm here at Long Beach and I have found myself a Snoopy collector. Now, what is your what is your name, young man? Uh, Tom Szynski. Tom Szynski. Would you spell that, please? Okay. C I E S Z Y N S K I. Now you are a teacher, right? Correct. And what, what do you teach? What? Well, I'm retired. And when I you used to teach? Elementary. Elementary. Uh, uh, I taught fifth grade uh -huh. uh, for about 37 years. About 37 years. Yes. Now here at the Long Beach Flea Market, you're known as the Game Board Man. Is that right? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. And how many game boards would you say? Or is that the right way to express these things? That could be the right how, way. How? Yeah. But that could be the right way. But since you do this and are an expert and are a teacher, there's probably the right word for it. What would you say the right uh, word is? Game collector, game. Uh, uh, I, I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> now, of these games here, which tends to be the most popular of the games that you that you tend to deal with? Is there a a category uh, of games? I try to I try to stick with McLaughlin Brothers. The McLaughlin yeah, Brothers. McLaughlin Brothers. Yeah. That's McLaughlin Brothers back there. Uh huh. The spelling, the spelling slips. slips. Game of Nations right here. That's well. McLaughlin Brothers. The Logomachy, uh, McLaughlin Brothers. Logomachy. So all these ones, they tend to look fairly old from yeah. the late... Yeah. Uh, uh, this is 1889. Uh-huh. And then I'll even show you the cards to the... Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Now, what, what kind of printing is that? Uh, probably lithographs. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. But they're just gorgeous, I can especially see. with the directions. I can too, see. Still there. Yeah. yeah. So, so those those are probably my, my favorite games, are the, uh, the McLaughlin Brother games. So what is the difference between the games of today and the day, games of yesteryear? Um, I think that the, the games of yesteryears uh, taught more values. Uh, you had to be uh, more creative thinking. More creative thinking. Right. Uh -huh. uh, I think with the video games nowadays is just pressing buttons and I see. like that. Uh, it also brought uh, people together. Uh, because so it was, more, it was more of a social more function more of a social than function. an individual, individual. Right. on the... Right. I see. I hadn't even right. thought of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it yeah. seemed as if there was a a much greater variety of subjects right. Right. back in the old days. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. I assume the subjects today are uh, aliens, aliens and war uh, and, war bang, bang, and bang, bang. Viol all violent bang. kind of things. And so that kind of limits yes. Yes. the number of uh, subjects right. that you can have. Right. And uh, how long have you been here at the uh, at Long Beach? Uh, two years. I see. Oh, well, that hasn't been that, that long. No, no. And so what got you interested in games? I mean, as a... Um, as a, a friend of mine about 25 years ago had some games for sale. And uh, I happen to like the graphics. I love the uh, the content and so forth. And uh, um, that's what got me going. I have in my own personal collection uh, over 200 games. 200 games. games. And and in your personal collection, what are the names of one or two okay. of your favorites? There's, okay, there's. Um, uh, the Messenger Boy. The Messenger Boy. The messenger Boy. Uh, Is that telegraph related? Telegraph related, correct. Uh huh. Uh, and all of my games are before the 1900s that I have at home. I see. Yeah, and how old? Not. How old is the oldest game that you have either in your collection or for sale? 1865. About, and what is the name of that game? That's the Messenger Boy. That's the, oh, so that's, yeah, so your favorite cool. game is the oldest game. Oldest game right. Now that goes back so far. I was wondering about the quality of the printing and the graphics. Was it dazzling graphics or were they rather yeah, oh, dull? Dazzling. They're, dazzling. They're lithographs. Uh -huh. yeah, so the color retained, has retained itself and, uh, yeah, there's no fading uh, whatsoever. I have all the parts uh -huh. of the game. I have the spinner, the game board. Uh, Nellie Bly is another favorite one of mine. Nellie Bly. Nellie now, who Bly. is Nellie Bly? She's uh, a historical she would, she, figure. She's a historical that, figure who would travel around the world. Now, is that the one? Does she associate with Around the World in 80 Days? Yes, yep. Did she do her own version of it? No. no. Well, something. She was actually, she started that and then uh, I guess around the world in 80 days then came later so so the Jules Verne book yes. around the world in 80 days was sort of an offshoot, offshoot from of, her life right, in exactly. some respects right well wow. 
That's fantastic. Yes. Okay. Thank you.